Are you planning to move to the United States as a non-immigrant or an immigrant? Then this video is definitely for you. Last time I shared on here on the various types of non-immigrant visa. And today is a continuation of part two of the non-immigrant visa category type. In this video, we're going to be exploring the various types of non-immigrant visas, ranging from temporal visas, air visas, visas that favors uh, people in religion background, and of course for sport persons. You don't want to go anywhere. Please stick around as you watch this video right up to the end. If you're joining in new here, my name is Patty. I share content on business and immigration. Please, as you do watch this video, please don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment down below. Without further ado, let's get started into the video. The first type of non-immigrant visa under this category is called the temporal work visas. These visas are issued for temporal work in the United States. And here are a category of work visas. We have the HB visa. This visa allows U.S. employers to employ foreign workers in specialty occupations. A specialty occupation normally requires the application of specialized knowledge and a bachelor's degree or maybe an equivalent of work experience for those who want to apply for this visa category and under this category we have the hb1 the hb visa h1b1 visa h2a h2b h3 visa and l1 visa category for the h1b visa these are for persons who have been employed in highly specialized fields maybe like medical doctors it professionals and so on for H-1B-1 visas, this visa category is mainly for nationals of Chile and Singapore. The next category, H-2 visa, is granted to temporal agricultural workers from selected countries in whom the USA has some type of interest. H-2B visa, this visa type is given to temporal seasonal workers only who do non-agricultural work. H3 visas, this visa type is obtained by those who want to take advantage of training and educational opportunities that the United States has to offer. The next visa category is the L1 visa. The L1 visa is an intra-company transfer USA visa. This allows a US company to transfer a key employee from one of its office in another country into the United States. This allows companies to open corporation or their operation for the transfer of its executives, managers, and of course, specialized employees. The next visa category is the O-1 Extraordinary Skills or Ability Visa. The O-1 visa forms a group of U.S. non-immigrant visas, which has been designed for people with extraordinary abilities ranging from business, science, art, education, film, television, and so on. Under this category, we have four types. The O-1 is categorized. The first one is the O-1 uh, visa, which is uh, focused on people with extraordinary abilities in the field of business, athletic, education, IT, and science. The O-1B visa is for people who have shown extraordinary abilities in the art of television, and film industry. The O2 visa is for the assistance of those occupying the O1A or the O1B visa holders. The O3 visas is for spouse or the children of O1A, O1B, and O2 visas holders. The next visa category is the R1 visa type or the R visa. The R visa is for temporary religion workers who want to practice within the United States in religious capacities. So for religious workers interested in pursuing work in the United States may consider pursuing the R1 visa type. The R1 visa type is a non-immigrant visa that allows these religious workers to work for a qualified non-profit or religious organization or a church for a maximum period of five years. 
And lastly, we have P1 visa or the P visa category. The P1 entertainment visa is a non-immigrant visa that allows foreign nationals who are athletes, artists, or entertainers to enter into the United States for a specific event, maybe a competition or a performance. The P1 visa classification covers individuals who compete at an international recognized level. Thank you, family. We've come to the end of this video on non-immigrant visa. If you haven't watched part one, please go back. I'm going to link it in the description box below so you can follow suit. Thank you so much for watching and please do not go anywhere as next video you see on here, we'll be describing more on the types of immigrant visas to the United States. And of course, in subsequent videos, I'm going to be breaking down all of these visa types. I know it's confusing and a lot for some people, but uh, stay tuned to this channel as I unfold to you a lot of happenings or anything that concerns USA immigration. And please, I am not an immigration officer. Everything I share on here is based on my own personal experience and of course, uh, research, in-depth research too. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next one, bye-bye.